Thank you very much, Alan. Um, firstly, apologies, it's, my laptop blew up, and so this is a borrowed laptop, so it might be a bit funny. But anyway, computers. So, first question. Anybody know who that is? Anybody? Go on, call out. I know you're teachers, but... Steve Ferber, yeah. So Steve Ferber um, created the uh, ARM, or going back, created the BBC Micro and was responsible for that. So I did my PhD under Steve Ferber, and one of the things that he did was uh, we got, in, we got me into public outreach. So there's two, I've got to thank him for two things. One is for doing, getting me into public outreach, and two, for letting me play with the BBC Micro when I was about five or so. <laughs> so, um, first of all, who is a teacher? Um, put your hands up if we've got teachers, sort of, we've got... So, and the rest, I suppose, you just got an interest in hobbyist sort of type thing, Raspberry Pi? If you're a hobbyist, put your hand up, would you say? Yeah? Right. So it's, it's a split, right. Um, so basically, in terms of just a bit about Manchester, for five years we've run the National UK Schools Animation Competition, and that is uh, open nationally to schools for them to produce a one-minute animation, and one of the packages they use is Scratch. So for five years we've been trying to get more people interested in computer science and we've been doing it with Scratch. So we've got a bit of background that way. Um, as Alan mentioned, wherever he's gone, uh, we've also done other outreach activities like try not to blow children up, but let them blow things up and get computer control in. And what's basically come out of that is we've realised that we want to make... You, we need a hook, because what we've discovered is that children are experts in time management, in that what they'll do, they'll look at something think, no... Next thing. So, so what we've got to do, we've got 10 seconds basically to get them to go, wow, that looks interesting. I can get some sort of result. I'll spend the next three hours doing something with that. And uh, as I was also saying, another lesson we've learned is, this comes in with, with my, my day job sort of hardware design. It's very important that things are observable and things are testable. So that when you're doing something, it's just a black box and you think, what's going on in there, you need to make it see it. And so that's sort of given us a bit of background. So just a bit of history, uh, sort of uh, a year ago in May, um, we'd been, obviously been doing public engagement stuff, and I'd heard that the Raspberry Pi was getting on. So I sent an email and got a reply saying, oh, it might be ready by Christmas or so. Um, and then sort of nothing, we, we kept it at the back of the mind. And then it basically... We heard about it on the BBC News, and we heard about it mainstream, and we thought, ah, oh, this is quite a big project. Um, so what we then said, Alan said, what do you want to do with the Raspberry Pi? And a lot of you know what you want to do with the Raspberry Pi, but children don't necessarily... You know, we've got this 10-second interest. If you show them a Raspberry Pi, they go, oh. Um, it's, they've got to really see what the potential is. So what we thought, sort of would be a good thing to do with the Raspberry Pi, and to be honest, we've got a bit of an interest in the embedded things because that's, that's our area, is get them to interface things. So we came up with, if I press buttons, um, something we've called this Pi Face. And so it's just an add-on board for the Raspberry Pi. And one of the things that we're very keen to, to do is to get children to be able to do something in 10 seconds. So, so our challenge was, can they get some sort of result instant gratification, whatever you want to call it, in 10 seconds. So, um, basically what we put on the board is there's a couple of relays, everything's with screen terminals, and we've got some software. So then, um, if I just go for a video. Got sound. So we came up with a quick demo. <laughs> nope, sorry. Um, so just go back. So just a bit of background. That was from the... I can't bring the chicken because that's from the animation festival. So it was actually our prize-winning day for the, for the school children for the competition yesterday. And so we had the, ras the raspberry pi and the chicken there. Um, if we go back to... So what that was a demo of is 
they've got this animatronic chicken. We just cut a couple of wires. Then we just screwed it into two terminals. We've got a nice um, Python API, which talks to Twitter. There's a uh, text-to-speech engine running on the Pi as well. And we can give that to children, and they, we can say, right, edit six lines of code, and you can either make it follow a person, you can make it follow a particular tag, um, or they can, obviously, then the chil chil children can take it as far as they like. Um, so that's just one an, of an example of what you can do with the, the, the interface we've got. So uh, I'm another example we've got is um, a few games, if I just... So we've taken it into schools. <laughs> and so what that's showing, that's just one example. We've got um, about five buttons or so, all with LEDs in. So you can drive the LEDs from the outputs, sense the inputs with the switches. And that's running uh, whack-a-mole. So basically the light lights up, you have to press the button. So we can get the children um, to, to write that depending on where we, we, we go in, but they can, they can put that together in just a few minutes and they can get a fun game. Um, I don't, the, the teacher in the background there says, I don't think I've ever seen you concentrate as much, so Bradley. <laughs> so uh, that basically just shows how and we just dis discovered it really engages them. It's the, they see the game, they want to play the game, and then that leads them to, to want to, to learn more. You can't say, we're going to teach you computer science. What we can say is, that's something fun. If you want to do more, then you'll have to learn. And, well, you don't have to say that, but they sort of they gather that. Um, so then, if I, there's another game, just as another example. Um, so we've got, a, uh, we've got a scale electric set here. Um, and we've sort of basically just got, if I just set of resources, uh, that's the right way around. Um, and basically it shows you how to, there's a jack connector on the, the game, so you could just, simple thing to just, it doesn't quite cut the wire, but effectively you cut the wire of the game and then the Raspberry Pi can control the scale extra. And so then on screen, it could, well, on screen there's, you can't see if I point to that. Um, there's a pointer there. So you can just about see that in that window, you get questions popping up, multiple choice. If you press the right button, then you get the relay turns on, powers your car a bit further, and the, the children can race it round. And again, um, it just our ex experience is that it, it really just captures their interest. And once you've got their interest, you can get them to do, do more. Um, so, what am I, why am I here? Um, I'm trying to make the PowerPoint work, right. So, oh yes, so just going back. So basically we've got Manchester STEMnet involved. Presumably you've got STEMnet in Cambridge and other places around the country. But it's a group which gets engineers and STEMnet ambassadors. I've seen a few actually with the triangular badges on. And so we're providing this as an activity for them and then they can... Um, come in, talk to us, we'll help them develop activities, and then they, they can take it into schools. So we're also running teachers' workshops. Um, it's all Manchester-based, but we might have another one in Cambridge or talk to someone here to get it organised. Uh, but basically, what we've got, we've got a set of outline, um, I'll just sort of activity sheets, which take you through lesson plans and that. And we'd like to develop more, and we'd like to do that with teachers um, so, how do you get in touch? Well, we've got, if I just show you the website. Uh, sorry? Yep, we're on. So, website is pi.cs.man.ac.uk. Um, another thing which might be worthwhile, actually, though, having a quick look at, we're running a competition, which we're calling the Great British Raspberry Pi Bake Off. Um, and that's a chance for, um, we're running two strands, one for hobbyists to get together, have a, um, come up with a brief project presentation, send it in, and also one for school 
people, although we might actually speak to the foundation because we don't want to tread on their tails. Um, because I know they've just launched a competition. Um, but basically, any questions, I'm andrew at cs.man.act.uk, or there's contact details on here. If you can't remember all that, if you just search uh, Raspberry Pi and interface, then you'll get to um, one of our pages. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.